Hello everybody in Facebook land, Lisa here. I'm sorry, I'm looking a little bit fez tonight. Um, <laughs> hence, well, not because I'm looking fez is why I'm not having a sale, but um, life is slightly chaotic. So I'm just gonna change the light, see if that makes any difference to my hideous hair. That's probably the best for the crystal. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, as I said on um, Facebook, I decided not to have a sale tonight because um, I am um, a little bit all over the place and um, haven't had much time to organise some things. But I wanted to talk to you about some crystals that I tested. Um, and if you're online, say hi and um, let me know you're, you're, that you're there. So I bought some crystals from a new supplier um, in the US and um, normally when I buy crystals from a supplier, I usually just buy a couple of things that I know that are commonly faked and um, then go about doing some testing um, to see whether they are in fact fake. Usually they're not, which is great, <laughs> but um, I've been stung twice um, with this particular supplier. So I thought I would show you um, what I've done to test a piece of malachite. So malachite is one of the crystals that is commonly, um, not necessarily, well, yeah, it is actually faked, um, but also to, they do a lot of things to um, lower grade malachite to make them look pretty. Um, and one of those things is commonly to um, coat the malachite in a resin or even um, like a, a wax. Um, so that it, if, particularly if they're brittle to keep them together or if they're lower quality in terms of colour, um, they do add some resin or some wax. And I try never, ever, ever to buy ones with resin on them. Um, but, um, you know, these days it's hard to tell whether or not there it's wax or otherwise or dye. So dyeing um, malachite is quite common. So what I wanted to show you, I've been... Um, <laughs> bouncing around all afternoon with this malachite the poor thing it's um looking a little bit worse for wear but i'm going to turn the camera around so first of all you should know that malachite is really cold to the touch so when you pick malachite up it will be very cold and heavy um and the other thing that um you should know is that it's quite soft so if you do drop it on the ground if it's genuine malachite chances are it will break but if it has been covered with something like um, you know a wax or something it probably will be a little bit tougher so if you're on say hi I can see Coral and I can see Sharon there how are you both and a few others but I can't see names at the moment um, and if anyone is commenting I can't see your comments so hang on let me So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what I have been up to. So I don't think Facebook's showing me. I oh know Coral's saying hi. How are you going, Coral? So let me turn the camera around and I'm just in my healing room tonight and hopefully you can see. So this poor malachite's been, um, has been given the runaround. Just let me bring the light in, see if I can get that any brighter. No. Nothing ever moves when you want it to, but certainly does when you don't want it to. Now I'm just going to get a white piece of paper here. Not that one because it's all... So I just want to show you... So I got some malachite from a new supplier if you missed the start. And um, when I got it, you can see this part here. Looks very suspicious. So it's very shiny, which is not unusual because malachite does shine up pretty well. But also underneath, you can see here that there's some um, rough, not quite rough, but a, a darker, a lighter and a darker. And you can see that that's been um, more highly, could be more highly polished than the other. But having a look around, and it, it was cold to touch, so that wasn't the first clue. Um, mal un um, natural malachite usually doesn't have, um, you know, nice patterns that, well, it does has, have nice patterns, but they're usually not uniform 
and perfect. So the, from that perspective, this these pieces of malachite were looking fine. Um, but this piece here, if you can see, very, very suspicious. And the reason for, for it being suspicious is because firstly, malachite doesn't look like that in, um, in an open piece of crystal. So it was probably just a plain boring brown rock color underneath there, which in, indicates that the color, you know, just isn't quite right. It's not a, what we would call an A grade crystal. So this piece here, I'll get it from underneath. You can see that I've burnt the paper towel, silly. Um, I've also got my trusty piece of um, paper here that you can't really see in this light, but you might be able to see it's a bit, got a bit of a green tinge there. So I've just poured some um, good old brandy on that and um, done an alcohol test, and you can start to see that there's a green tinge to that. But uh, the other thing that I did, let me just bring it up here and show you this one. This one's quite similar. You can see I've actually snapped it in half now. Let me get the piece. So you can see that that's probably what it looked like. It was just brown and boring inside, but they have done a really good job, kind of, of spraying it or dipping it in probably something like a boot polish or a car polish or something like that. So you can see just in there that it's it's not quite right. And this was the piece here that um, is broken off here is um, that was similar to the other piece. So what I've done with this baby is, uh, apart from the alcohol test, I am satisfied, you can see it all through here. So I am satisfied that the crystal in fact is real, but it is full of some kind of, you know, boot polish, good quality boot polish or something, car polish, which is a popular one. Now this burning, this black here, I have actually lit fire <laughs> to the crystal. <laughs> so um, I did have it under the burn. I leave it with the, um, you know, the, like just a little gas thing that you light your candles and thing, your sage with, um, but it wasn't hot enough. So I put it on the gas stove and uh, burnt the poor little thing. And I've done that, actually, first what I did was take it out to the garage <coughs> um, on the concrete floor and uh, dropped it from, you know, I'm five foot, what am I, five seven, five eight, and dropped it from, you know, sort of my chest height onto the concrete ground about 10 times. Um, and it bounced back at me, not all the way up, obviously, but bounced off the ground. So I managed to break the tip off when I dropped it straight onto its tip. Um, but firstly, malachite doesn't um, bounce. It will break if it doesn't have, you know, some kind of wax or resin over the top of it. Um, and so um, you can't really see now because I've burnt it all, but I was satisfied that the crystal was in fact real. Um, you can see in there, the beautiful malachite patterns going all the way through the middle. That can't be achieved if it's not real and not dyed. You can see there that that's, where the dye kind of, you know, is really thick. You can see that dark piece there. And um, yeah, so I actually have a video um, of the um, gas burner. So I will post that. <laughs> it's quite funny, it's about, I will chop it down, but um, watch it right to the end um, and you'll see what happens. So yeah, so I just wanted to, um, yeah, bloody hell exactly, Sharon. So. Let me just turn this around. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing today with the malachite, um, doing all sorts of little tests. So I can guarantee that many other crystal sellers do not do those kind of tests. Um, and even though I had this one, so that's the one that I broke, and um, I probably had it under the gas fire for the last time about an hour ago, and it's still warm. Um, it hasn't gone back to being cold, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, do ask. If you know, there's uh, quite a few people on, so feel free to um, say hi and ask me any questions. Now, normally, um, if I discover that crystals are fake in any way, of course, I don't set out to buy fake crystals. Um, but if I do some um, testing from uh, of crystals. 
Um, first of all, I don't buy from that supplier anymore. Hi, Lynn. Um, I appreciate you buying from me. Um, so I will, in fact, sell these. Um, well, I'll try to sell them, of course, but um, they will come with a full, you know, disclaimer that they are full of a little bit of who knows what, probably, as I said, a boot or a car polish, which is really popular. And the car polish means it doesn't come off, um, which is exactly what's happened here. But, um, you know, I'm satisfied that the crystals themselves are um, real. Hi, Christine, how are you? So, yeah, so it's been ages since I've been on and done a live on Facebook. We used to do them every Tuesday night until I moved um, our Crystal Lovers Chit Chat offline. And um, we do that once a month, and um, which is beautiful. And this month we don't actually have one. So next, uh, this Friday, actually, I fly out on a big jet airplane overseas um, for the first time in two years, which is fabulous. And um, so there will be no Chris, June Crystal Lovers Chit Chat. So you'll miss that. But um, when I come back from overseas, I might do another live and do a meditation online and also, you can ask me any questions you like. Saw crystals in the $2 shop in Westfield, laughed and kept walking. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's funny. I often see they've got little chunks of, um, you know, when I go in and buy paper bags and stuff like that, they have little chunks of um, rose quartz and amethyst. And potentially they are real. Um, rose quartz, they haven't perfected um, faking rose quartz, but they of course have perfected um, amethyst, um, but they're probably either not very good quality or um, and or dyed if it's the amethyst, so I quite often see it. And yes, Simone, I'm very excited, thank you. And Shakira, um, I'm very wary on buying bracelets that aren't real. And yeah, look, to be honest, there's lots of fake bracelets out there. Um, I've seen a couple today, in fact, um, not ones that I've bought, but it's, um, ones that um, somebody had on when they came to um, see me. So um, you've got to be really careful about buying, well, any crystals. I mean, if you buy them because you love them, then that's perfectly okay. You know, if they're real or fake, it doesn't really matter um, from that perspective if you're buying them because you love them. But if you're buying them for a particular purpose, um, or in, with the intention that they're real crystals, then of course you um, you want them to be real. Um, it's the same with beads. So bracelets, beads, same thing. Um, you know, all those uh, um, spotlight and um, link craft and places like that, they and art craft shops, they sell a lot of beads and break crystal bracelets. Um, and they're either not real or they are very low quality and have been dyed to give them some color. So I know at Spotlight I saw last week that they have um, Amazonite um, bracelets. They're probably not Amazonite. <laughs> so, or if they are, they're very low quality. Um, so yeah, they didn't look like nice or even fakes. Even for fakes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I quite often see them in my little local junk shop as well, Sharon. Um, I think they're always interesting. Um, and you can, buy, you can buy them in all sorts of weird and wonderful places these days. Um, but the thing is that China, the Chinese are very, very good at um, faking crystals. And a, a lot of countries... Um, play with crystals and change their, their what, what's the word I'm trying to, not their structure, but, you know, their colour, for example. You know, for example, in Brazil, um, you know, they have been irritating smoky quartz for a really, really long time. And you think we know that, you know, um, Brazil has beautiful quartz, but um, they do irritate their smoky quartz to make it darker. So, and these days it's very, very hard to tell between a natural smoky quartz and irradiated. You wouldn't have a clue. Um, but of course, others are much easier to tell. So for those who have just popped on, I've been testing a piece of malachite and I've, um, I rubbed it with some alcohol first to see if I could get um, some dye on it, off it. But it's a little bit better than dye. 
Um, I think it's a like a car polish or something like that. And then I took it outside on the concrete and threw it on the ground about 10 times before I could get it to break. And it's broken in half. And then I set it on fire <laughs> so, with the gas stove. So um, I was a bit worried it was gonna melt actually onto my um, stove top and um, I would be in trouble then, but it didn't. Um, and I will post the video of me um, lighting it up and it's very interesting. So I am satisfied that these are real malachite, um, but they are a little bit too covered in the polish of some description. So thank you to those. If anyone's got any questions, do um, ask me. More than happy to answer any questions while I'm here. And as I mentioned, I'm heading off overseas on Friday um, for a couple of weeks, but there will be a sale next week um, if I can get myself organized, of course, between now and Friday. And um, so what it means is that they just won't be able to be sent out um, straight away. So we will let everybody know that um, when the time comes. So yeah, well, unless you've got any more questions, I'm gonna let you all go. And I hope you have a fabulous night and I shall hopefully do another live soon. And um, we might be able to do a crystal meditation next time we're on. Okay, everybody, much crystal love and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Thank you, Lynn.